Welcome back to Pharmacy News and it's great to have Malcolm Scrimger with me, Director of Zumo Retail. Thank you for your time. Thanks for having me. May I call you Mal? All right then. Oh, you are Can the I director. call you Miranda? You it's just exactly what I want you to call me. Not late for dinner. No. Tell me about the five P's of marketing. Okay, the five P's of marketing, there's, uh, back at university, they used to have four to start with. There was uh, price, product, promotion, and place. And okay. then someone thought, good Lord, we need to put in people. So there's five. <laughs> the one that uh, most people struggle with is price. Because how do you figure out price? It's not an easy thing to determine. Sure. How do you figure out price? Well. Do you have the answers, Mel? It's a very long answer, so I'm not okay. sure how much time you've got. But I'll have a drink. Let's uh, go. In, uh, in short, uh, there's a few major factors that influence price. Uh, in no particular order, the price you buy at, uh, your competitors, the sort of offer you have, so, so a medical centre versus a discount operation versus uh, someone that is uh, focused on health solutions, as we saw with the Pharmacy of the Year, who were yes. very health focused. Uh, and also the store size, uh, store location. So there's a okay. whole bunch of different factors. The two that are most important by far are competitors and the store size, bizarrely. Really? So those are the two big things that drive price. And so how can um, pharmacists work within those um, uh, to, to improve their sales? Well, if you're lucky, your competitors kindly give you their prices via catalogue. Mm -hmm. So you can actually check what your competitors are doing. Right. And you can assess whether or not uh, those known value items, so KVIs, uh, the products that people obviously know the price of, you need to make sure you're sort of pretty close on those. And other than that, you can probably increase prices and no one even cares. Really? Well, things like gift lines, for yes. example, or were you stupid enough to be doing gift because I don't like them. Oh, really? Uh, okay. Well, well if, you're doing, if you're doing gift, uh, you know, a ceramic frog that uh, is green and riding a bicycle, no one knows what price that costs. Yes. Is it 8 or 18 or 28? No one knows. Depends how much you like frogs. Yeah. Uh, other things though, like Panamax 100, that's a really price sensitive line. Sure. People know what sure. the price of that is. If you're overpriced on that, your whole store is expensive. Uh, yes. So consumers understand those things and most pharmacists understand that too. Um, my conclusion from about three years of work is yeah. that most people underprice. Really? Is that right? So how can they improve that other than just well, Adding putting, on a price, few extra dollars. putting prices up isn't the smart thing to do. When you look at it, the smartest thing to do is to make sure that you're at a price that moves more volume. In other sure. words, makes consumers happier. Yeah. So it's quite complicated. Some prices should go up, green frogs, uh, and some prices should probably come down a little bit, like Panamax. That makes sense. So there's, it's a bit of a balance, and, and the smart thing for pharmacists to do is to focus on the big categories that generate most of the money. And those ones are pain, cough, cold, sinus allergy, children's, vitamins. If you get those big five right, you're going to be pretty much okay. Is that right? So what would you like um, pharmacists to take away from your sessions today at APP? I would like them to take away the method I give them, which yes. is about nine points of things they can do when they get back. I'd like to get, get them to focus on the major categories because that will have a profound impact on their business. Yes. Uh, the information we've got uh, from a one-year trial is that we can have about a 10% improvement in GP dollars. Now, really? notably not GP percentage. Yes. GP dollars. So some prices went down, some went up, and we banked a lot more money, which means consumers are happier. Absolutely. Especially if you're in the line for green frogs. If you're a green frog person, <laughs> you'll have no concept. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time, My Mal. Pleasure. Enjoy APP 2016. Thank you. We'll be back with more pharmacy news shortly.